Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Today I have my BoxyCharm for the month of November and I am super excited to dive in. There are some really exciting things in this box. I actually, um, usually I forget. Um, every once in a while I will check my email and see uh, the email from BoxyCharm saying, hey, do you want to customize it or whatever. All of the customizations this month were pretty amazing. Um, I actually tried to get something else. I can't even remember what they were now because it was last month, but I remember like having such a hard time choosing between the three. I do know the one that I ultimately got, but, and I think it was like the last one I wanted. So I was like, I'll be happy with any of them, but I want this one. And it said, too many people have requested this one. And I was like, okay, well, I want this one then. Too many people have requested. So I did get the third one. But like I said, I'm super excited about it and I'm ready to dive in. I also want to mention that I finally got my third Brazilian Kiss. This is the Sol de Janeiro uh, Lip Butters and this is the Keep It Rio so it's just like the nude. I am wearing Soulmate, the darker one right now on my lips. Just like one, late, one coat though. I didn't go like ham with it. But now I have all three of them. Um, if you don't know why I'm bringing that up, you can check out my favorites. Well, my October favorites, but pretty much I ordered them through Boxy add-on and one wasn't in my package for some reason, but now I finally have the third one and I really am liking them and have gotten pretty much over the scent. It's not trop it's not bad. It's just not tropical or like it doesn't smell like bum bum cream. But anyways, let's get into the actual box. So this is the Boxy Charm Harvest and I love the card this month. I love fall so much. So the first two things that I am so excited about, and we're gonna be jumping in first, is the Natasha Denona, like, Natasha Denona. Okay, BoxyCharm. So this is the Peak Palette. I'm pretty sure this is an exclusive through BoxyCharm, which ultimately made me really nervous. I mean, like, the packaging is, like, just this cardboard box. Um, not much to it. This is the size of my Camel Palette, so it's the same, like, size as, like, the 40-something dollar ones. Um, 48. So, yeah, this would retail for 48, and this is called the Peak Palette. Is is a BoxyCharm exclusive. So, again, I didn't know how I would feel about it. I'm like... Does that mean the formula is going to be a little different? Is it going to be cheaper because it is through BoxyCharm? Maybe Natasha Denona wants to save a little coin. <laughs> you just never know, like, when it comes down to subscriptions. Unless it's a palette that's already been on the market, I'm always kind of a little nervous about it. But I've already seen some other people rave about this palette, so I'm really excited. The only other Natasha Denona, I have a single that I got in a subscription. Um, but besides that, the only other Natasha Denona palette I have is the Camel because the price point, I'm always like, I don't think so. <laughs> but this palette is really pretty. It has four mattes and one shimmer, and this is, like, perfect for fall and in general, like, this week. Like, Thanksgiving week, like, these tones are beautiful. So definitely very warm tone, but I love that you have, like, a more... Um, like a base shade if you're fair. I feel like this would work on a lot of skin tones as a highlight shade and it's matte, which can sometimes be really nice. Besides that, you have this warmer, like orangish red, a brown, um, a, a darker peach. So it's not like um, springtime, it's more like a fall peach. And then of course the metallic, which looks stunning as well. I actually want to snag a picture of this palette before I like start dipping my brush in. But the other product that we're going to be jumping into as well is from Alamar Cosmetics. I'm really excited. I already took the lid off because I'm like, I'm ready to jump into some makeup. So I'm actually going to go ahead and prime my lids with this. This is the, um, I, I really don't want to like even butcher that name, but this is the, pretty much their eye primer. And I probably just got way too much of this. It is a squeezy tube. So I just wasn't even thinking. Um, it kind of is like a skin color shade, but it is like a little, like a tad, um, yellow. I don't really know how I feel like that. It's very, it's very tacky already, um, putting it down on the lid. So I'm sure this is going to be one where the eyeshadow really grips to it, which usually isn't bad. It sometimes means you have to blend a lot more, 
Um, and I hate the feeling of it when I don't have eyeshadow on. Like I feel like my lid just like sticks. I'm just gonna put this all over the eye. I do like that. I don't really care that it's like yellow like that. Like more of the yellow undertone, but it actually blends out pretty nicely and you're just gonna put shadow over it anyways, so I'm not too worried about it. I do like that there's a little bit of pigment there to cover up veins and stuff like that. I actually put a little bit of concealer on my lids before because I didn't know if this was gonna be clear or not, but this is only $15, which I feel like is a really good deal, and it's a long wear sticky pigment base. I'm just gonna use it for my eyeshadow today. I may actually take that light shade in the Peak Palette to put down as a base. I usually don't do that anymore, but I may try it. Um, the next product I wanna mention real quick because I won't be using this. I already have my foundation on today. All makeup deets are down below if you're interested, but I wanted to mention this because I'm really excited about it. This is from Dr. Brandt and it's the antioxidant, um, where, where are you at? Okay, antioxidant uh, spray toner. So it's $40, but I just did a blog on the Dermalogica Clear Start, their micro pore mist, and it's a toner and a spray bottle as well, and it's so convenient. You guys can check out my blog on that one to know, but I will definitely be trying this out and letting you guys know in a future Skincare Sunday blog something. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be mentioning the micro pore mist in a Skincare Sunday eventually. I just want to try out, or I want to keep trying out some of the products. I'm trying right now and kind of mash them together in one. Well, I was gonna go ahead and start my makeup, but I feel like I might as well just finish unboxing this because the product I finally got to pick is from Milk Makeup. This is their Kush Mascara, $24. Um, it's an intense black mascara with thickening heart-shaped fibers um, and conditioning hemp-derived cannibalist seed oil. Um, I've tried this in the past and loved it. The only thing I'm a little bit bummed about is that it's the blue packaging, so it's waterproof. Um, I think like the silver packaging is the non-waterproof and that's one I've tried and I really, really love. I'm not a huge fan of waterproof mascaras. I feel like it's so harsh on my lashes. So I'm a little bummed about that, but it's a full-size milk makeup mascara, so I'm not going to be too upset. And non-waterproof Kush mascara that I've tried from them, I absolutely love. And I'm sure the formula is the same besides just this one being waterproof. Let's hope, because that one was really good. I was kind of like over all the Kush stuff. I'm like, oh my gosh, everybody's jumping on this train. Um, and then I try to sample their mascara and I was like, okay, <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> The last thing I got looks like a deck of cards, which is super cute. And can you guys tell like I'm ready to get into eyeshadow? <laughs> but this is from Half Caked. I've never heard of this before. Um, I'm almost getting like Beauty Bakery vibes with like the actual brand. Um, there is a donut on the back, but it does say babe tested and vegan approved. But this is their um, Game Changer Lip Fondant 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 how do you call it um trio so you have these three shades here i i mean i think they look cute but i'm like mm, i don't know there's theme song low key and then 82 bordeaux well, these retail for $32, so I kind of feel like I need to try them out. And like the whole lip fondant thing makes me think it's going to be like a comfortable liquid lipstick. We will see. All right, I'm ready to jump into some makeup, so I'm going to zoom you guys in. And I'm going to go ahead and lay down um, Aya, or yeah, I think it's Aya, that like cream shade on my lid. So you guys know I love Alomar. I love them. But this, I'm not really liking. I mean, do you guys see how yellowish? Hopefully it picks up on camera, but you see like how yellow my lids are. Um, like I told you, it was kind of already like this yellowy, like yellow undertone base. Um, but blended out, it didn't look that bad. But now that I'm like 
putting just this base shade, which I mean, definitely shifts more like a cream. So more yellow toned base, but still it should not apply this yellow on my lid. I'm, I, I, thankfully I'm going with warm tones today, I guess is what I have to say about that. Uh, because I am going to go into this shade next right over, which I believe is Jasper. And with this Alamore blending brush, I'm going to go ahead and start working the shade on. Honestly, I think today I'm just going to go pretty easy. Nothing like too, too crazy, guys. Um, it'll still be a really fun, like, fall look, though, or pretty fall look. Maybe not as fun, but pretty. Alright, so I took the shade Shine, the metallic. You guys can see like how pretty that is. The shadows are definitely on point, so I'm so glad. Thank you, Natasha Denona and BoxyCharm for coming out with an exclusive palette that is actually as good as her normal formula. Because <laughs> um, again, you just never know. I'm going to go into the middle shade, the brown, which is Thorn. And this is the last shade I think I'm going to play with with this palette today. But I just want to build up this outer corner just a little bit with the brown. So I'm just adding a little bit right here. I still feel like it kind of, like I can see that the pigment's there. I can see the shadows are really nice. I want to try it again not using this primer. Like I just hate to be that way about it, but I'm just not really filling it with this primer. I kind of feel like it'll be a good one for... Um, metallics to make them pop a little bit more like in the center as like a halo um, maybe like glitters which you guys know like I never mess with <laughs> um, but besides that regular shadows I just feel like it's kind of a hassle I felt like these shadows are really pretty and I kind of feel like it would have blended a lot faster and easier with my regular MAC paint pot or even like a concealer you know Whatever the case may be. I do have to run to the store, so I'm gonna look like I'm going to a holiday event right after. But I am not. <laughs> it's gonna pick up a couple things. Ugh, I just I hate going to the store anymore since this year. Like I hate it so much. I'm gonna go ahead and do like some concealer, powder. Um, I already have my soul bronzer on. Um, it's about my time of the month, so I am breaking out. That's always the chin. But yeah, um, so far, I just want to say, I'm really liking this. Not so much the eye primer, but I do feel like it's just the fact that I feel like it's so tacky, so I feel like there's other purposes for it, but it's not really my cup of tea when it comes to regular eyeshadow. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this out in powder, um, and then... I guess blush, highlight, everything, and I will be back um, to do the lips and the mascara. I am going to put some more shadow on my lower lash line, I think. Maybe just a little bit of what's left over on the brush. And I'm going to use whatever highlighter I use on my face. I'm going to use um, in my inner corner and brow bone today. I'll be back. I actually didn't put anything on my lower lashes. The mascara isn't as good as I remember. I feel like I probably could have built it up a little bit more, but like I said, I'm about to head out, so I didn't want anything that was going to look clumpy. 
And since I feel like the eyeshadow is a little like much for the grocery store, <laughs> um, I decided to go a little bit lighter with the lashes, but I did use this lip. This is the one, this is the shade theme song out of the trio, the lightest one, the nude. It actually is really pretty and I actually think I'm gonna leave it on to leave the house because I was like, I don't want anything like too in your face. So I feel like if I was to wear one of these with this look, it would have been like a lot more for just the store. So yeah, um, all in all, I'm pretty impressed with BoxyCharm this month. I'm excited to see what the theme is gonna be for next month. It's holiday time. I feel like these are usually like some of the best boxes. So yeah, I'm really excited. Let me know down below in the comments what was your favorite thing that you got from your BoxyCharm or whatever subscription you get, if you get one. Um, if not, let me know what you think about the look. Is BoxyCharm tempting you? <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.